So students, problem number 9, 8 problems we have completed. Now ninth problem you see. Given the data below on two companies A and B, calculate the expected return from companies and standard deviation as the risk measure of companies. So you are required to calculate the expected return and standard deviation which is better for return and risk estimates just like the previous problem. Previous problem we have given the comment on comparison of alpha limited beta limited. Consi company better here from the point of view of risk and return basis. Same way here also we have to make a comparative analysis and find out which company is better A company or B company. So first of all <clears throat> Ninth problem, company A. The returns are given 6, 10, 12. See the problem? 6, 10 outcome. We are not concerned with the outcome. Outcome is just event. Directly we take the return 6, 10, 12. The probabilities are 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.2 given in the problem for A company. Now multiply the return with the probability to get expected return. The expected return 9.2. Um, deviations like R minus 9.2, 6 minus 9.2, minus 3.2, 10 minus 9.2, 0.8, 12 minus 9.2, 2.8. Squaring kar do is ki ye amount hai. Ab D square ko P se multiply, P into D square, you'll get PD square. So ultimately, standard deviation of company is summation PD square under 4.96 under 2.23. So one company we have completed, company A. Expected return and standard deviation. Now we will come to company B, same format, same type of calculation, return, probability, expected return, deviation, d square, pd square. So expected return are 14% and standard deviation of beta is summation pd square 1200 3.46. So we got A company as well as B company, take a pause and copy it down. Then comparative form. A company, B company. A company ka expected return 9.2% hai, standard deviation 2.23. B company ka 14% hai, or standard deviation 3.46. Now compare. Agar comparison karenge, to B limited is having more return, more risk. B limited is having more return, more risk. A company is having less return, less risk. To phir si company better hai? If the investor is a risk taker, agar investor ye chara, I want to take the risk because the return, I want higher return, then he will prefer B company. If an investor is risk averse investor, he don't want to take the risk, he is satisfied with the lower return, then he will prefer A company. So explanation mein ye likhenge, ke if the investor is risk taker, he go for B. If the investor is risk averse, then he will prefer A company. Now we will see what is the difference. How much is the difference in return? 14 minus 9.2. 4.8. The return is higher by 4.8% in B company. Whereas the risk is higher 3.46 minus 2.23. It is 1.23. The risk is increased only by 1.23. But the return is increasing at 4.8%. So this means the return is much much higher than the risk. Risk is a little bit 1.23% risk will increase. But the return will increase is 4.8% increase. So ultimately we can give the conclusion B limited is a better company than A limited because it is having a higher return and a very small increment in risk. Risk is increasing, increasing only marginally. But return is increasing significantly. That's why it is preferable to invest the money in B company. B company is better. See the tenth problem. Problem number 10. Calculate the standard deviation for the following two companies. State of economy A, B, C, D, E. Isko kuch nahi karna. Jaisa diya hai, waisi copy kare. Nahi bhi liye to chalega. X company returns are minus 8, 10, 8, 5, minus 4. Probabilities are given. Again, we have to multiply the probability to get expected return. 
ये प्रॉब्लम में हमको स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन मालूम करना है राइट तो वी कैन कैलकुलेट सेपरेटली कंपनी एक्स कंपनी वाई स्टेट ऑफ इकोनॉमी then returns probability expected return a b c d e माइनस एट टेन एट फाइव माइनस फोर प्रॉपर्टीज पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट टू पॉइंट वन दिस द इंफॉर्मेशन गिवन फॉर कंपनी ए नाउ वी मल्टीप्लाई प्रॉपर्टी विद द रिटर्न वी मल्टीप्लाई द प्रॉपर्टी विद द रिटर्न माइनस एट इंटू पॉइंट वन माइनस पॉइंट एट टू थ्री पॉइंट टू वन पॉइंट जीरो माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर द टोटल इज फाइव इफ यू फाइंड द टोटल ऑफ दिस माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट प्लस टू प्लस थ्री पॉइंट टू प्लस वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर यू गेट फाइव तो फाइव परसेंट इज द ई आर एक्सपेक्टेड एंड फाइव परसेंट अब R माइनस ई आर माइनस एट माइनस फाइव इज माइनस थर्टीन देन फाइव थ्री जीरो माइनस नाइन स्क्वायर कर देंगे वन सिक्सटी नाइन ट्वेंटी फाइव नाइन जीरो एटी वन मल्टीप्लाई पी डी स्क्वायर तो पॉइंट वन इंटू वन सिक्सटी नाइन सिक्सटीन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव 33.6 तो एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न इज 5 परसेंट स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन इज समेशन पी डी स्क्वायर अंडर उट थर्टी अंडर उट इट विल बी 5.8 पॉइंट सो यू हैव कंप्लीटेड कंपनी X. Similarly, you have to make for company Y also. That is your practice. Company Y. Company Y. In company Y, you have to make the same table. Then you will get expected return. The company Y expected return are eight percent. And standard deviation. is 7.63% if you make the calculation you will get this answer for company y same table same table banana hai aapko khali returns change ho jayenge probability change ho jayegi to ye sare items change ho jayenge ultimately 8% expected return aayega aur 7.63% standard deviation aayega no comment it is simply asking you to calculate the standard deviation